<coughs> Hi guys, how are you all today morning? Good morning. Today is 18th April, April 2023. My name is T.S.V. Raghavan and I live in Chennai, Tamil Nadu, India. I, this is my spiritual vlog on YouTube. Hari Bol T-R-S-V Nectar N-E-C-T-A-R Nectar In this particular vlog, in all my previous videos, we have been discussing about the knowledge and information that we gleaned through the study of spiritual books scriptures, contemplation on the material universe, and meditation on the spiritual universe. This particular video is no exception to that rule. It is in fact only a continuation of what we have been doing in my previous videos. Please subscribe to my vlog and press the bell icon so that I may keep reminding you of my other videos. Today, in this particular video, I would like to share with you all some of the experiences in my own lifetime which are not only quite interesting but which prove to us that divinity, celestial beings, angels, demigods and gods certainly exist. So let us continue. I have a friend called Gopal. We, live, we lived at once in a city called New Delhi in India. New Delhi is a very bustling, busy metropolis, metropolis where people are quite busy thinking only about themselves and alas, are not bothered about what is happening to others. I was a part of that bustling city along with Gopal. It was the year 1979 when one morning on a Sunday, Gopal came to me and while we were chatting about this and that, he told me or he asked me, have you ever seen a celestial being or an angel? I laughed at him. I said, how can I see such a person when I am a normal human being? He said, yes, I have seen an angel in human form with my own eyes. I looked at him disbelievingly. This guy was a very truthful and pious person who would never tell tales. It, if it had been told to me by someone else, I would have shown my suspicion, but Gopal was different. He was quite serious when he said that he had indeed seen an angel in human form. I asked him where. He said that in the month of March 1979, 
while he was working in a place called Shakti Nagar in New Delhi, whereas he lived 32 kilometers away in a place called Saket in South Delhi. One afternoon or evening, he left his office in Shakti Nagar to go back home and landed in a red fort to take a bus to Saket. The place was quite crowded already. Suddenly, there was a flash announcement that DTC, the Delhi Transport Corporation, had announced a flash strike. All the buses vanished from the roads of Delhi. People were in panic and despair. Everyone tried to rush home some way or the other. Our friend was no exception to this milieu. He stood in one corner and he saw several men and women offering 50, 100, 150 rupees to so-called reluctant auto drivers just to take them to their houses which were near Sakri, that is just two or three kilometers away from Redford. Our friend must have panicked there and then. When people were offering 50 and 100 rupees to go just two, three kilometers away, what about him? He must have felt that he may probably have to stay here all night. But my friend was too numb to understand this. While he was standing in the milieu with all the shouting, jostling, and running around by other people, one guy who looked like a ghoul, who was very tough, wearing a olive gar- green color corduroy shirt and mustachioed with palm beetle leaves in his mouth, came up to our friend. Brother, where do you want to go? This man asked. This guy, this man who approached him, was so tough and menacing that my friend Gopal, who was just 20 at that time, must have panicked at his sight. But nothing of that sort happened. Gopal said, actually I want to go 32 kilometers away, but I have only 5 rupees in my pocket. This man laughed at him, showing beetle juice teeth, and sneered at him. Gopal should have panicked there and then, but Gopal did not do so. This guy told Gopal, I have my own auto rickshaw. I want to go to the country liquor shop in Saket. If you give me your five rupees, I am ready to take you to Saket in my auto. Gopal did not know what to say. He said, My father is in ITO, Income Tax Office bus stop. Can we pick him also? The driver agreed. Gopal hopped into that auto rickshaw. It started with only Gopal as a passenger. This menacing looking driver took Gopal to the ITO bus stop where they searched for his father, but they could not find. However, another person, a gentleman, also hopped in at five rupees into the same auto from ITO.
which was some 28 kilometers away. From there, they proceeded to Saket. Believe it or not, even Gopal looked at the things disbelievingly. That another gentleman was also equally stunned. They had read 32 kilometers away from Red Fort by paying just 5 rupees each to the auto rickshaw driver. Gopal was overwhelmed. He praised this auto rickshaw driver sky high and told him that Gopal would wish that this person should become a billionaire transporter. However, that man just looked at him and laughed nonchalantly. At that time, Gopal asked this man, Sir, if you don't mind, I would like to ask you how on earth you saw me in that crowd and took me to Saket for just 32, 5 rupees and when you knew that Saket is 32 kilometers away from Red Fort. This auto rickshaw driver jeered at Gopal and said, I was standing in that crowd and I have an experience of around 10 years in, as an auto rickshaw driver. On that day, at that moment, when there was so much of bustling and jostling and panic stricken people, both male and female, you alone stood in the corner like a stupid idiot who probably sincerely believed that his own father will come and take him. I felt sympathy for you, gentleman, who looked to me like a donkey. I said, let me do something good. Let me help this poor fool. Indirectly or openly, the auto rickshaw driver had called Gopal a fool. Gopal accepted he was indeed a fool who had been held by some good Samaritan. Trust me, on that day Gopal reached home safely, but Gopal remained in Delhi for another nine years. And in those nine years, he had to travel in the auto several times, but he never ever saw this auto driver. Gopal fervently searched for this man to express his gratitude, but this man was gone. Gopal clearly started believing that this man was some celestial being or angel who had dropped into this world only to help our friend Gopal. In the second case, which also pertains to an auto ride, the same Gopal had gone to his CS office in Connaught Place. From there, he took a bundle of files and boarded an auto to go to his own office in South Extension. This auto driver looked at Gopal, who the other, dog, other auto driver had already dubbed as a fool. So this auto driver told our friend Gopal, let me take you through a shortcut to South Extension so that your money or expenses for going there 
or the converting fare would be very less. Gopal agreed. After all, he was in an auto and he did not know the routes very well. This auto driver was a crook. He took the auto to one place. From there, he took a left turn and went into a place called Sundarnagar. He tried to roam around Sundarnagar in such a way that the auto fire would increase many folds. Actually, the auto fire from Connaught Place to South Extension was just 10 rupees 15 paise in 1985 or 86. However, because they had roamed around Sundar Nagar, this auto fire could have increased by at least 5 rupees. Gopal did not know this then. However, this auto, after roaming around in Sundar Nagar for a long time, came back to the main road and proceeded towards the South Extension stop where Gopal had to alight. When they did, the auto rickshaw driver looked at the meter disbelievingly and quite puzzled and angry. The meter showed 10 rupees 15 naya paisa. This fellow flew into such a rage that his blood pressure shot to the ether. He refused to take 10 rupees 15 paisa and shouted, I had tried to cheat you by going into Sundar Nagar. I knew that you are a fool and so you must have believed what I said and the meter for the auto must have been at least 16 rupees 15 naya paisa. I don't know how this meter is showing 10 rupees 15 naya paisa. And then a moment later he said, Ah, now I know what has happened. When the auto started from Connor Place and reached Sundar Nagar, it was the meter of the auto was running well. But as soon as we took a left turn, the auto bent forward and in that the meter stopped. The meter did not work while we were in Sundar Nagar, but it again started working as soon as I had to take a right turn to reach the main road again to come to South Extension. Now Gopal was in two minds whether to give this man his 10 rupees that the meter was showing or 16 rupees 50 paise because this auto driver was also quite menacing looking. But to Gopal's surprise and to the auto driver's dismay, one huge policeman appeared from nowhere, looked suddenly, threateningly at the auto driver, patted Gopal and asked him to pay just, just 10 rupees 15 paise to the auto driver. This auto driver was so panicked that he took this money and ran away. These were two instances that happened to Gopal and made him believe staunchly that some divine person, the power, some divine power certainly exists in this world. It helps good, innocent 
and naive people from those who have evil intentions not only that it also sends good samaritans who are actually celestial beings and angels to help good people i wanted to share with you these two stories to make you understand and believe that if you are good god is with you divinity is with you you have to just think and meditate on the self and god to seek ultimate self realization liberation and deliverance into the hands of the supreme personality of god head kindly let me know what you think of my talk on this these two stories please give me your own expert opinions thoughts ideas and views so that i may blend everything together for the society and for the benefit of us all before concluding let me remind you that i am also a published author with amazon kindle and paperback i write on spiritualism fiction and assorted subjects spiritualism happens to be my favorite subject till we meet in my next video it is good morning from tsv raghavan